guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's your girl Angel Kane. I'm back with another video. In today's video, as you can tell by the title, we're gonna be looking at apartments in Duluth. This video was requested by Steph Dor. She commented on one of my videos and asked me to do this. So I am taking requests at the time. If you want me to do a certain apartment or a specific area or city, just let me know. Comment below and I will try to get to it as soon as possible. Also, the next apartments that I'm gonna be doing is going to be North Druid Hills and North Decatur, but I might be posting some other content before I do that. But I just wanna give you guys a heads up of what will be coming next. So these apartments that we're gonna be looking at today are gonna to be ranging between like 1,500 and 2,400. Somebody also DM'd me saying that the prices I showed in the last video were a little too high, and I understand that, but one thing that like when I'm looking at these apartments, they sometimes don't have availability. Like there was one I went to in Lawrenceville, the very, very first one I went to, and they had absolutely nothing to show. They were all full. Even their model units was being used because they literally had no space. So it's really hard because a lot of people are moving into these really affordable apartments. So the ones that I'm looking at are kind of the ones that are available and affordable at the moment. Now, if y'all want me to look at the ones that are unavailable but affordable, then like I can still try to do that if they have anything to show. But it's just really hard out here, guys. So this one with Duluth, the one that you're gonna see today, there's one that was like 1,500, and that was the last one, just to give you guys a heads up. Don't skip though, don't skip the video. Watch every apartment that I show, because I put a lot of work into this, and like, it would just make my day if you guys watched the whole video. Thank you. Also, don't forget to subscribe, like this video. Let me know below what your favorite apartment was, and, yeah, you know, let me know any suggestions you guys have, any questions y'all have, and that's it. I'm not gonna keep rambling on about nothing. I don't have anything else to say, so I hope y'all enjoy this video, and without further ado, we're gonna get started. So at first, we have the Maddox, or the Maddox, Maddo. I don't know how to pronounce it, but I went to the Maddox, and honestly, this apartment was pretty cool. I didn't mind it at all. The leasing office was pretty nice inside, as you guys can see. I like to show the leasing office just because I feel like that's the first thing you ever see when you walk into a apartment community. And it just kind of sets the tone for everything. The pool was also cool. They had some cool lounge chairs. And yeah, we're about to just go into the gym, check out the little amenities, things like that. The gym was a little small not gonna lie but they had some pretty good equipment in there i don't work out so i wouldn't know anyways we're moving on to the maddox's two bedroom two bathroom apartment i put the one bedroom one bathroom price on there so you guys can you know still see the difference in pricing and be able to pick and choose what you like this is the kitchen for it these are renovated units so if you're okay with the colors and you know the i think that's granite is that granite um, the floors and everything is all hardwood floors. Prices, I don't know. I don't know. If, to me personally, I don't know if it's worth $2,000. But, eh, I guess to each its own. They had a lot of space in here, though. So this is the first bedroom that we're looking at. Decent size. I love how I'm just giving reviews here like I'm a apartment critiquer. But... <laughs> Y'all, I've done so many apartments at this point, I might as well be, literally. And yeah, this is the bathroom. And that's me. I was asking some random question because my friend is actually recording this whole video, shout out to her. And I just needed to distract the leasing agents a little bit. So I was kind of the one just talking to them, asking them random questions, writing all the facts down. Oh, that reminds me, I have some things to let you guys know. So they do have valet trash. All the bathrooms have garden tubs, so the really big garden tubs. Balconies are in every unit and there's a washer and dryer in every single unit. So I completely forgot. I was just sitting here rambling on, I'm sorry guys. I just, I don't know if you guys like when the video is just quiet and you just hear the music, but I figured I would talk more in this one because I'm in a good mood today. So, this is the balcony. 
I like the balcony. I actually really like the balcony. And then next, we are going to the Highlands at Sweetwater Creek. This apartment was so unique. You guys are gonna see why. Because the outside looks so country. Like, it looks like you're about to live on a farm, low key. But it's such a huge contrast and a nice balance between the outside and the inside. Because just look. Look at all the wood. Look at all the wood on the outside of the leasing office. I was like, um, and then it's this super long drive to get to the actual units. So this whole long thing is actually a nature trail that they have, which is pretty cool. It's a nice little, you know, touch to the apartments because you won't be seeing a lot of apartments with nature trail. And so it's this whole long walk or drive to the actual units. You know, you got your gate code, you got to put the thingy in, of course. And those are my fingers. And these are the units, you know, like I said, this is the outside. Look at just like, it looks very woody. Like, I'm not saying there's anything wrong with it, but I would expect the inside to look kind of similar, but you guys are gonna see it's a huge difference. And that's my friend Cole. Um, you guys are gonna just see, look at how nice it looks, just super luxurious. Of course, with the price, y'all can see, one bedroom, one bath, that's 1,700. I wouldn't expect nothing less than this, but, I don't know, I kind of just, I guess I expected a country type of design. I don't know, but yeah, it's super nice. If you want a balance between like a nature-y, country, outdoorsy area, and then you come home to your luxury, you know, a really nice um, apartment, like stainless steel and da da da, -da all this stuff, like, this is perfect. I've literally never seen an apartment that had such a huge contrast. Like, I don't know. I don't know. It's, it's just really nice. Super duper nice. So, this is the bathtub. They also do have walk-in showers as well. I'm going to show you guys one in the next unit. I also looked at a two-bedroom, two-bath. And that's gonna come up in like a few seconds. But yeah, they also have that as an option as well. This is the outside area. Well, the balcony, it has the wooden floors, which, you know, is cool. But yeah, it's just, it's nice. It's actually kind of a vibe. So now we're moving into the two bedroom, two bath for 2,300. And it's just as nice. It's so nice, guys. Look at that. The layout itself is really cute too. I mean, I just love it. I think it's so worth the money if, you know, if you got it. I don't got it. I don't got $2,300 to spend on an apartment, but hey, if you got it, I would, ooh, I would love to live here. So this is the first bedroom. Let me let you guys know some facts before I forget. All of these units have balconies every single one has a balcony and uh, they have an electric charging station so you know you got an electric car they got that station for you and it's also an extra $50 fee for the washers and dryers I thought that was a little eh. okay but that's that they have a dog park so if you got a little doggy yeah they got that and they also have a clubhouse with cyber cafe i forgot what exactly that means i guess wi-fi um free printing and stuff maybe some snacks but anyways i really really love this apartment i cannot get over it it's just so cute these are the type of apartments i love looking at like i know it's like a little expensive but guys it's just so nice and it kind of Oh, hold on. Look at the courtyard, guys. The courtyard is so huge. We didn't get to look at the pool because, you know, she had to print out a whole pass or whatever. But that pool was nice. Anyways, we're moving on to the District at Duluth. Another really nice apartment. And I just also have to mention that this apartment is literally five minutes down the street from downtown Duluth. 
and they have a really nice downtown it is really really nice you guys should check it out one day leasing office has a lot of books something about this apartment i remember the leasing agent told us that it had like a kind of like a little library type of feel to it they have a lot of books in here but this is the club room you know very cool gives me like college vibes if you were in college if you lived here or i don't know just my kind of college vibes like i'm at a university or something and so this is the gym the gym was pretty big as you can see it extends all throughout to the other corner and i'm just showing you guys here that they really had a lot of books and what was unique about it was that they took all the covers off of all of the books not sure why they did that forgot what she said but yeah none of the books have any covers so these are all just um little business you know rooms and printers and things like that pool was also pretty cool nice wouldn't expect anything less because the price is about to shock y'all <laughs> so two bedroom two bath two thousand four hundred dollars i know i know the prices are kind of up there i get it but it's really cute really cute don't really have anything else to say but it is really cute um the space though i will say the space wasn't big enough for me to personally spend this much money on it but um i think this was the master bedroom i think this was you know also really nice i don't really have much to say about this apartment to be honest uh the leasing agent was really nice the leasing agent was really really nice one of my favorite of the day but also really big closets really big closets yes oh well actually i guess i can tell you guys if you want to know a little bit more about duluth so like i said this one is closer to the downtown area and Duluth is actually one of the safest places in Atlanta. I am making a whole video on it, uh, not just Duluth, but it's going to be called like five safest places to live in Atlanta. So Duluth is actually on that list as well. And, you know, I just thought that would be good information to know if you are considering any of these apartments. You can't go wrong because it is pretty safe. So um yeah we're just taking a look around and i think we're about to head out to the balcony so you guys can also check out that there's no real special view it's honestly just the apartments but and now we're moving on to the one bedroom one bath at 1700. I know there's some parts where the camera's kind of shaky. I don't know what that's about, but apologize for the inconvenience. And that's me. Also, all units come with the washer and dryer, I believe, no extra charge. And actually, a fun fact about this apartment, I just remembered they have they have a community event every week. So one community event every week. And that specific week, I think that day or the next day, they were actually having like a massage, like a chiropractic massage thingy person coming in, giving out chiropractic massages. I was like, I'm sold. I'm sold. I don't know. Like I have high standards for apartments, but like one unique thing will just have me in there like it's just so many apartments are so similar it's just kind of like you pick and choose based off of what they specifically got anyways we're moving on to the sugarloaf walk now this apartment the best thing about it is that all of these stores are really close to the apartment i mean literally right here they have like nail salons they have places to eat they have a seafood bar they're also opening up something else that will be serving drinks all night so you know if you like to kind of go out and drink a little bit they have this where like honestly you live right there so it would be perfect if you wanted to you know drink and then just go home because you don't gotta drive so this is the leasing office of course this is the gym 
and this will be the club room as well i didn't want to get too much footage here because you know it was, it was somebody in there i didn't want to make them feel awkward but yeah super nice sugarloaf walk is pretty pretty bomb So this is a little bit of view of the pool. I'm gonna get a better view later. The gym was pretty big. It was, it was a nice size, it was decent. So we are taking a look at the one bedroom, one bath priced at 1600. I believe this was the cheapest one they had. They might have another one for 15 something. Don't quote me on that, but I think I did see a price for 15 something. However, this is the unit that is priced at 1620. Um, pretty decent, you know what I mean? Like, honestly, there's just not a lot that I can say for these apartments because they're so, so similar. And that's why I was saying for the last apartment, it's like they're so similar. That's why, you know, the pricing and the renovations and the amenities, they're all pretty much the same. So, like, you really gotta look for one special thing about the apartment that will kind of make you want to stay there instead of the other ones because honestly they're literally all identical I don't know why I was recording so slow. I feel like I'm literally moving in slow motion, like super slow. Anywho, we're moving on to the two bedroom, two bath for $2,011. That's pretty good. That is pretty good. And it's a nice open space, I'll say. So I did do a self-guided tour for this one. And yeah, I just, I got more time to kind of show y'all everything and a little bit more details. But yeah, like I said, $2,011 is not bad between two people. That's only about $1,000. Not bad. Not bad. And honestly, this apartment was considered roommate style. Um, the rooms are across from each other, but they are still super close. Because, you know, usually, and this is the most popular um, two-bedroom unit, so I do want to mention this because usually most roommate style two bedroom apartments will have the living room and kitchen kind of separating them like on opposite sides. But with this one, it was literally like right across from each other. So I don't know. I think a roommate style like literally as far away from each other as possible. But the way that this one was set up. It was like the hallway was just kind of separating them. So it was kind of interesting, kind of interesting. Oh, I forgot to mention this balcony wraps around. It is so crazy, like so, so big. Never seen, okay, I've probably seen a big balcony like that before, but very rare. And that is also the pool. I didn't actually go outside to look at it because it was cold. Moving on to the last and final apartment is the Atlantic Howell Station. Now this one is gonna have the one bedroom going for about 15 something. So I really tried to squeeze this in. It was like so hard to find something really cheap and available for me to show, which I still kind of didn't. You guys will see what I'm gonna show. It's a two bedroom, but this is the leasing office. So this is actually going to be a two bedroom, two bathroom unit. And the reason I'm showing it because they didn't have the one bedroom to show. They are at full capacity, as I said in the beginning of the video. But I still wanted to put the prices there so y'all can see, you know, maybe put your name on the list if they have one. Um, and yeah, this is one of the cheaper apartments in Duluth. Now I can make another video just showing like really, really cheap ones. But I know there are other people out there who enjoy these price ranges as well.
the two bedroom, two bath though, that's a good steal. 1800 for two bedroom, two bath. I mean, I might mess around and apply myself. I just might. That's 900 each person per month. Now the other one I looked at was a little nicer. So maybe a thousand, you know, it's only a hundred dollars. It probably wouldn't be that different, but still pretty cool. These are the bathrooms, the shower. Don't think they have a walk-in shower, but they do have washer. Actually, no, they don't have washers and dryers in these units. They do not but they do have a washer and dryer. What? They have a laundromat, sorry. They basically have a laundromat at this apartment that I'm gonna be showing you guys soon. So this is the gym. And this is the mini dance studio, they call it a yoga studio. But this is the little laundromat that I was telling y'all about. It's a dollar to use the machines. I hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope y'all were able to see something that you liked and like i said comment below let me know anything specific y'all want me to check out but as always don't forget to subscribe so you can stay updated on all my newer videos and everything that i post and also y'all can follow me on instagram if you want at angel k that's it for this video so i will see y'all in my next one bye Oh, oh, oh.